I'm Mr. Klokovich, and I want to talk to you about AP Environmental Science. So why might you want to take AP Environmental Science? Well, every student at Carborough High School needs to satisfy the Earth and Environmental Science requirement. You can take Earth and Environmental Science Standard or Honors, or you can take AP Environmental Science, and that covers the same requirement. So why the AP? AP is a college-level class. It's going to be much more rigorous, much more challenging, but I think it's going to be much more interesting. So if you're up for the challenge, I highly recommend trying this class. Um, we do a lot of reading. We do a lot of writing. Um, this is often students' first venture into the AP, um, but if you're up for the challenge, I highly recommend it. Most students find this class to be very fascinating and eye-opening because it's very relevant and personal. We learn all about the real world and how humans, you personally, connect with the real world. And these connections all have consequences. So after we learn these consequences, we study solutions to help solve our environmental problems, uh, to help us learn to live more sustainably. So we do a lot of reading and writing, and it's a science class, so we do labs, and obviously there's a lot of science content. But because environmental problems are so multidisciplinary, we also get into philosophy and social justice issues, uh, economics, policy, and law, because environmental solutions are going to take all of those disciplines. You do need to have chemistry under your belt to take this class, um, because that's going to be very helpful. So during class, we have a lot of discussions. This is a very discussion-based class. Uh, and we do a lot of collaborative work. So we're going to work on your presentation skills and, uh, and project work. One of the, my most uh, uh, the things I like about the class more than anything else is the opportunity for us to get real world experience outside. So there's a 16 hour uh, community service requirement for this class, four hours each grading period. And but we've got all these great projects even on our campus to help work on. So behind me here is the front of the school. This used to just be grass, but we planted 30 oak trees about five years ago. Uh, and we're slowly turning this back into a uh, oak forest. That's what it was before the school was built. So with this project, we're learning <clears throat> to increase the biodiversity of the campus. So not only do we learn about these things in the classroom, but we can practice them out in the real world. Until this is a forest, which is going to be decades, we are managing this area to be a meadow and we're planting native plants in there. Also at the front of the school, this is a wildlife, uh, wildflower garden and we manage this as well. We keep the invasive species out. And again, it's, uh, it greatly increases the biological diversity of the school. So there's opportunities to work and maintaining this garden, which is a very visible part of our campus. We also have the Eco Action Garden behind the D-Wing where we grow vegetables and students can work on projects. We have chickens. Um, and, and basically the students come up with the ideas and we have an intern from UNC who, uh, who they collaborate with. And we meet a weekly on this project. And then just recently, actually uh, last year, we planted 14 apple trees. So we, uh, we're not only talking about the biodiversity of our uh, natural world, but the biodiversity of our agricultural world as well. So we have seven different varieties of apples, and these trees have grown a lot, and we're going to have to care for these trees as well. So that's just a little flavor of what we do in this class. If you have uh, any questions, you can um, use uh, the emails that are on this page next to you.